Florissant man who was electrocuted on the job says he was shocked after his company turned their back on him and hired private investigators to harass him. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. This story is drawing attention from across the country, including Congresswoman Cori Bush, who says she's working to ensure the family receives the justice they deserve. Five on your side, Holden Kerwicki sat down with the family. After leaving the Navy, Brandon Ingram moved home to St. Louis for a job offer he thought would set him up for long-term success. I guess free to lay. You know, who wouldn't want to work for Frito-Lay? In an effort to move up within the company, Ingram says he was working 60, 70, sometimes 80 hours per week at this Frito-Lay warehouse. But October 2nd of 2016, an incident occurred that changed both his personal and professional life forever. I went a little dizzy for a moment. You know, I was like, I'm okay, I'm okay. I think I, you know, I just got zapped a little bit. Realizing he had been electrocuted, a manager took him to the hospital. They was just like, oh, you're good to go. However, it didn't take him long to realize there was something seriously wrong. I am in pain every day. It's excruciating. Diagnosed with two herniated discs and liver disease, he was put on disability. I went from making a nice amount to support my family to like barely making it. We had to use everything thus far because Frito-Lay and Pepsi have not helped us. They filed suit and got these videos showing private investigators following them. We actually try to stay in the house with the curtains closed because we're being watched so hard. People shouldn't be treated like this. It really was driving me to where I felt like I needed help. As a last ditch effort, they turned to GoFundMe. This is our last hope. In four days, that account has raised more than $85,000. I'm very, very grateful. I don't have words. I don't know what to say, but thank you. I can't even fathom some words, to be honest. I have a glimmer of hope. Like, I never thought that people would care this much. In Florissant, Holden Kerwicki, five on your side. Ingram say they are currently in the midst of a workman's comp suit against Frito-Lay. We reached out to the company for comment on this story. They have yet to respond to our calls and emails.